Welcome back. We are Two Finger Spirits. We got the camera shy camera guy. I'm over here today. We got the live studio audience. How are you today? Great. Yeah? Camera guy? I'm also great. You are great. I always tell everyone that. That camera guy, he is great. Oh, thank you so much. I don't see the nice things about you. No. <laughs> So what we got here today? This is proof and wood tumbling dice. Heavy uh, heavy rye mash bill. Alright, so what's that mean? It means that it's 36% rye. 36% on a bourbon, huh? Yeah. Alright, so what's the corn so on? So this is a um What's the corn? We'll get to the mash bill. Why are you throwing me off my uh, whole shebang here? Because you were talking about it. Well that's because <laughs> it's in the title. Ah, it's a heavy rye mash bill. But this this particular one is a Facebook group pick. This, it's the uh, Connecticut Bourbon and Whiskey Enthusiast. Bourbon and Whiskey. I, I, the name doesn't make any sense. That's okay. You know, why not Connecticut Whiskey Enthusiast? You know what? They have, I've enjoyed a lot of their picks so far. Yeah, I have too. Yeah. And the whole group is great, so I can't I have no points. Call whatever you want. Yeah. So yeah, it's a straight bourbon whiskey. It's a heavy rye mash bill. This is a single barrel barrel proof. So the proof is 115.86. What's the typical proof on? They, they do a uh, 100 proof version of this is what you can typically find in a store. But if you know you get a store pick, it's gonna be a single barrel usually and it's gonna be uh, quite nice. Mm. So back to the mash bill, I believe it's 36% rye. 60% uh, corn and 4% malted barley. Add that up. Is that 100%? Sure. Good, good job. Uh, this this one's aged over five years. Typically, I think the the regular one is about four years. So, I'm get a little. I believe it's from MGP. I believe it's sourced from MGP. Um, How about the sticker on the back? It's kind of cool. You know those guys? Zach Galifianakis? Huh? Yeah. You know those guys? I do. What movie was that? Hangover. Oh, okay. I never, I don't get those because I drink responsibly. But, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so this was about $80. I think the normal 100 proof one you can find for around 45, which I have never had, but I'd, I'd like to check it out and try it. All right. And uh, I think what's next is let's do a little color talk. All right, let's do that. Right, today we have a 1.5 in Auburn. And this is a nice little car. It's got a little reddish tint to it. More when it's not in so much light. But what do you think, Brandon? Let's taste it. All right. It's nice stuff. Some guy told me that you shouldn't spin your whiskey because it messes with the nose. We said that in the last video. <laughs> this is a copper. No. That's a copper. Sorry, it's an hour. Um, so it's a Deadwood, right? Right. That's named after the town where Bill Hickok, Wild Bill Hickok, played his last uh, poker game before he was shot and killed. Oh. Deadwood. You should watch that HBO series, it was great. You ever see that, the HBO I've never series Deadwood? It. Yeah, it's really Sounds good. Sounds awesome, though. It's really good. All right, what we get on this nose? Mm. Brown sugar, barrel char, definitely some rye in there. A lot of, like a spice. Like, you get the rye, but like a spice. Yeah, I get some there. nice spices. Vanilla. It smells like a 115, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it could be the spice, but I get the vanilla. It's nice. I like it. This is you getting anything wonderful. out of that uh, live studio audience? It's, it smells spicy and hot to me. It's nice. It's a nice inviting nose. I like that mm -hmm. that brown sugar, that barrel char, the mm. vanilla. Mm. Mm. That's a brown sugar heavy palate. Mm-hmm. Wow. Some cherry. Yeah, cherry on the palate, right? Yeah. Brown sugar still. Some cinnamon on, on my palate. Yep. And definitely get, some of that rye. I get a little cinnamon, but it's not one that would it's not it wouldn't put me off. No, it doesn't put me off at yeah. all. It actually blends nicely with the right. other uh, notes, I think. And the finish starts off with the Cinnamon, but I'm gonna call it those red hots on the finish. Right. With and and then I get banana. I still get the rye spices, and then I get like a apple crumb cake, mm. like an apple coffee cake. Yeah, I get like a uh, 
the, the spice really carries through. Yeah. Through that finish. Yeah. Excellent. Medium to long length. Right. Uh, uh, it's very nicely balanced. It's a very, it's a very enjoyable whiskey. Hmm. Hmm. So what do you think? Would you get this one again? Yeah, I, I, I wish I bought two of them because I really like it, but I'm going to look for that uh, regular 100 proof one and see how that goes. Yeah, I agree because you know what? This is almost like I would say this would be a keeping stock. I really enjoy it that yeah, much. Yeah, really good. And uh, to be honest with you, I never heard of Proof and Woods, uh, Proof and Wood, but I believe the, the head guy there is uh, from Redemption. Oh, and we cool. just did the Redemption Ryan. Yeah. That was really good too. Excellent. So I wonder. I, I should have studied that more. But I just, you know, I just want to talk about the whiskey. I don't really care about the the in depth stuff. So a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, right. You know, we want to make it kind of succinct, and so yeah. everyone can kind of see what conversation, we not a lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Cool. So yeah, I would I would definitely buy more stuff from them. I'd like to try more. Uh, it's very good. Uh, How about a quote? How about a quote? All right. This one is from Dale Carnegie. Carnegie. All right. You know him? Yeah. He lives down the street. You were reading the book by him, right? Oh. Well, I Different Dale. Know. How to win friends and influence people. How's that going? No. You got any friends yet? No. Well. Uh, all right. It isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you're doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you are thinking about. Uh, Think yeah. happy thoughts, folks. Drink whiskey and think happy thoughts. You'll be happy. Oh, thanks, hey, everyone, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.